Hi, my name is Sarah, and welcome to a day in the life of a software engineer. Come on in. So I woke up at five today. I already got my workout in. I took care of my fur kids and gave them a little love, but I officially can't start my workday without a cup of coffee. So I make a cup of coffee. A software engineer develops software for multiple companies. I have been working at my company for about five years, but I've been coding for a little over a decade. My usual schedule is eight to four, and it's kind of nice to be able to take a break here and there to do anything that I need to around the house or go to a store if I need to. So the tasks that I perform on a daily basis include updating my code if somebody requested a change that I make. Sometimes I spend a lot of time replying to emails if that's necessary. I check in on my interns to see if they need any help with anything. My desk setup consists of two external monitors and one's for code, one is for seeing my changes, and then my computer for emails and different terminal things. I also just have a little fun space where my birthday cards sit and then a whole slew of different mice and keyboards. So the first thing that I'm gonna to do today, coding wise, is making sure that what I built works. This can usually take between 30 minutes to an hour depending on what I'm working on. So right now my primary languages include Java and a lot of HTML and CSS, but I find the most fun in writing anything based out of JavaScript, so like Node.js, so I personally use Sublime. I think it's very low effort and is really easy to use. It's really difficult to write code the first time and it'd be right. So either you're gonna find a mistake or somebody's going to say, hey, this isn't really working the way that you said it would and you're just gonna have to be okay with that. The first thing I coded today was the delete button. And so you can see the code here. And this page is represented on this page as the UI or the front end. And you can see that each, what I call card, has a delete button. And so now if you click on delete, it'll delete that specific card. And now there are no collections. <laughs> One of the benefits of working from home as a software engineer is being able to cook at home. It's my form of meditation to kind of repositions my brain. I get to think about what I'm going to work on next. I get to process maybe a meeting that I was just in, but cooking is really a way for me to recenter myself for the day. I like to spend time on Reddit, and I think a lot of us do when we're on the computer pretty much all day but I also catch up on YouTube videos or maybe just talk to my friends on Discord, maybe plan what I'm gonna do for the evening, but that usually is about 30 to 45 minutes. Right after lunch, I get to get into work and since most of my meetings occur in the morning, I really get a longer time period in the afternoon to have my next coding session so I can range between one to two hours instead of having to kind of take breaks I feel the most creative in the afternoon. I think that's because I've had all of my coffee and I've had my food or my snacks and I really just am into the meat of the day. So in the afternoons, I have more energy in my brain to accomplish the tasks that I set for myself. I like to keep up with new software and new frameworks that happen and come up by actually looking through job openings and if there is a new framework that's really important a lot of companies will post that in their job description or a requirement so i'll kind of go through what jobs are available and see what companies are using most of and sometimes i even learn about new frameworks that way another great thing about working from home is being able to leave if i have to and i'm feeling something really spicy tonight so there's this store that i'm going to go to and do a little grocery shopping If you're looking to become a better software engineer, I would recommend maybe going to a class website like Udemy or a coding bootcamp, or even just kind of thinking about a project that you'd like to build and starting it from scratch. Gaining experience by doing is the best way to keep yourself up to date and become a better software engineer. I got into my profession kind of by accident. I knew that I wanted to write, so I actually started off as a journalism major, but I wanted to kind of work with my creative side, so I decided to write code, which I am writing, but I'm also using my creative side. So I went from being a journalism major to a software engineer. 
My goals for my future are to kind of transition into more of a management role. So I enrolled myself into a project management course. What's nice about being in this field is that continuing education is, is very important to a lot of people. So you get time to be able to do that. I usually wrap up my day by going through my emails and making sure that I didn't miss anything that I was supposed to get to by today. I check my uh, work schedule for tomorrow to see if there are any meetings. The last thing I like to do at the end of the day, or I have to do at the end of the day, is log my time. So I worked on the front end for about four hours today, and I worked on other things for about another four hours. So. That's eight hours and I try to end my day around four so that I have a, enough time at the end of the day to kind of wind down from it. Software engineering can be pretty stressful. So the best way for me to wind down from a stressful work day is to play video games. It's just a really easy and relaxing game to wind down my day. I think coding asks a lot from you and it takes a lot of energy to do it. So I would recommend just being okay with it a high stress, high energy environment. I wish I knew how tough it would be entering the field, but all you have to do is be confident and make sure to speak your mind and just be yourself and it's, it's going to be okay. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe to Indeed's channel. See you next time. Hi, welcome to the grocery store. Let's go shopping, come on over. Oh, am I going? Okay, I'm gonna go.